Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial video. Um, this one's going to be aerial refueling in the Hornet specifically. Um, so I'm going to take you through how to set up the tanker in the mission editor and then uh, how to actually fly it and, um, you know, some tips and tricks. It's not, it's tricky to get used to at first. Um, but once you get used to it, you just got to practice it um, and you'll be fine at it after some practice. Um, it's really just about small stick inputs, rudder inputs, and especially throttle inputs. Um, so you just got to get get the feel for that, get the hang of it, um, not get into pilot-induced oscillations. I'll talk about those two once we get into it. Um, but you just, it's like most of these things, it just takes practice. So anyway, how to set it up. Um, so for the Hornet, we need to use the basket. So all right. So there's two different types of tankers. I should talk about this first. So there are the boom tankers, which are like the KC-135 is the one that we have in DCS that has this boom at the back that comes down. Um, and those are used for, or you will use this if you're flying the F-16 or the F-15 or the A-10, anything that has that slipway or the quote-unquote female end, if you will. Um, and But if we are going to be doing anything like the Hornet or the Tomcat or um, the JF-17 or the Mirage or anything like that, we have to use these tankers that have the um, these pods on the wingtips, which there will be a basket, a hose and drogue that comes out of that, and then you have the probe on your jet, and then you're going to be plugging into that. So that's what we're going to be doing today in the Hornet. So there are three tankers we can use for this. We have the KC-135 MPRS, um, which I know it has the boom modeled, but it doesn't actually do anything in the game. It's just there. Um, we have the KC-130, which is a C-130 tanker variant. Um, we have the S-3B tanker, which I'm not going to use today because they haven't added the new textures to it yet um, like they have for this. Once they do, then I'll use it more. Um, we also have the IL-78 tanker, which is a Russian tanker based on the IL-76. Um, but today we're going to be using the KC-135 MPRS. So we'll just select that. Um, we will set this, let's say 17,000 feet, um, 350 knots or so. We'll just put this here at a waypoint for it to orbit around. Actually, I'm going to shorten that. Um, if you want to make it be a longer racetrack orbit, you can just because uh, it's easier if it's just going in a straight line and not turning. We'll just set it here to like 20 miles, though. I think typically they'll often fly like 10 mile racetracks. I don't remember, though. It, it differs. Um, so then we're going to click Add Advanced Waypoint Actions. Click Add, um, Perform Task. Click on this drop down menu under Option. Click Orbit. We will, oops, actually I did this wrong. My bad. We're going to go to the first waypoint where you put it in. Then same thing, Orbit. Set it to racetrack, adjust the speed, we'll set it at 3, um, 350. Uh, tack in, we're just going to, uh, you can change your call sign here, we'll set it to Arco. Um, frequency, you can set whatever, I'll just keep it at 251. The call sign, we'll set this to Arco. Um, channel, we'll just do 51 X-ray, so we can put that in our tack in and then navigate to it. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it for setup. Um, one thing I am going to do, I'm just going to give myself a Hornet over here to put in. We'll set it, how far away are we? That's too far away. That's fine, 20 miles. Um, I'll put this at 17,000 feet as well. We'll just add a waypoint as we're going in roughly the right direction. Set this to player. So over here, I'm going to do, let's see, I'll do this one. I don't usually do cag birds, but I like this one. That one's cool. And we'll just put, I don't know, a catam 9M, and that's it. I'll put an MRAM over here. Why not? Okay, um, so we'll just go into the, actually, I'm going to just fuel, set this down to like 50%. Um, that's fine. So we will just go into this now. I'm not going to save it. 
So we'll let this load up. Just got to turn on my track IR. Arco one one on station at bullseye three zero three four one hundred twenty. One control you will need. Um, uh, probe control switch extend and retract. Um, it's also this switch right here. You can just flip that. But I like to have a keybind for it. So we'll go over here. We'll do tack in. It was five one. Bring that on. Tack in. Save this. Set this to silent. I like to set this page to fuel so I can see it a little better than down here. Um, what else? Check our radios. I'm going to set this to. 251 and you can open a radio menu, go to tanker, see you have that, so we attempt to refuel. See our tank over there. I'm just gonna go really fast just to catch up with it. I'm gonna pause this and I will come back in a second once I'm closer to the tanker. Alright, we're about here at this tanker. A little fast. I'm trying to slow down my speed breakout. When you join on the tanker, you want to join on its left wing. I'm gonna try not to overshoot here. Join on its left wing. It's about good. Tractor speed brake. It did just start to turn, which is a little bit annoying. Um, we'll put our probe out. And then we'll start scooping forward a bit here. But we're fairly close and lined up a little bit right behind that. We will say ready pre-contact. Ready pre-contact. Return pre-contact. Oh, a little far away. Move in a little bit. Ready pre-contact. Clear contact. There we go. Let's start moving in here. Whoa. Fast, we get some rudder here. Smooth, small movements. Contact. There we go. You're taking fuel. There's a little bit of a buffer zone, you don't have to plug it exactly in, you just gotta be really close to it though. small movements you want. I'm not doing an excellent job of this. You want to set a, like a reference point on the tanker itself, not the basket, and you want to just try to maintain that profile. If you do get into a pilot induced oscillation, which is basically, um, You're taking fuel. if you are kind of just going up and down or side to side and you keep overcorrecting and then overcorrecting for your overcorrections, you want to just disconnect, just move back, drop back, slow down, and then start over. And if you lose connection, which you definitely will, 
occasionally just drop back. Contact. Whoa. You're taking fuel. And you just want to be nice and relaxed through this. It's difficult to do. It's difficult to relax yourself, but it's easier if you do. We did a transfer, we can retract our probe, and then we're gonna come over here and rejoin on its right wing. So the next people that would be stacked up along the left wing, waiting for their turn, usually in order of who has the lowest is gonna be refueling first, obviously. And then you'll just rejoin on the right side and wait here for the rest of your flight or whatever to get their fuel. So I hope you found that useful. Um, I think that this, like I said earlier, this is, it's tricky, but you just, you just need to practice it. That's all it takes, it's just practice, relax, small movements for your throttle, rudder, stick, um, and you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly, I'm sure. Um, I hope that this was informative, helpful, etc. Um, if you want to consider subscribing, I would really appreciate that. Um, check out a lot of my future videos and my other tutorial videos. I've been doing a whole series on the Hornet at the moment. I've done a bunch on the F-16 too. Um, but anyway, I hope you have a good one and I'll see you in the next video.